I just caught something. This Minister Paul in Northern California. It's 1.35 p.m. 10, 20, 17 of Friday. I just caught something major, and I want to share this with you, and I want you to, to share it all. So I'm concerned about them coming after this channel now after some videos I've recently released. Now watch. In this video right here, just an hour ago maybe, less than an hour, October 20th, I'm mentioning that I'm waiting for this press conference for today to see what General Sarah Huckabee is going to talk about General Kelly and the Congresswoman from Florida and the taped audio phone call regarding the, the Gold Star Widow. I'm, how far am I into, I'm about 10 minutes into it and not once yet has anyone even mentioned that call yet. They're arguing and debating about racial stuff and this and that. Just like I thought they would know. At the 10 minute mark, no one has even mentioned it yet. It's embarrassing. So here's, here's the link I'm watching, as I do every single day. And it ends with FWO. FW0. Do you see that? FWO. I believe it is, I'm not sure. And I'm waiting for it to go live and it never does. For the first time ever. And then and then it does go live at this link that ends in K M Y my. Two different links. So they 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 put it up here. They put it up here, watch this. They put it up here. Let me find it. Right here, six hours. Is that the one? Three hours ago, they put up a link for us to watch. As they've done every day. We're waiting to waiting to watch it. And it's still frozen. It has 1,470 views. And they marked it. Man, just pray for me, look, because this is huge. They marked it unlisted. And they closed the comments. Then they release it with another YouTube URL, this bear witness, right here 23 minutes ago at a different URL. And it has like... It, California. It, it has... Good afternoon. It has a few hundred views. Just recently right here, it has a hundred views. Watch. 142 views. I'm... I'm nine minutes and 10 seconds into it, and not once has anyone mentioned the audio recording call between the president and the Gold Star wi 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 uh, Widow. Hasn't been mentioned, this is very strange. They've just got caught manipulating the public. Manipulating the public. And, and I believe they're planning something huge, man. I really do. I believe they're planning something huge and it's troublesome and I'm trying to warn you. So again, a warning of this Marine word coming to pass through what's happening right now from September 25th. It's coming to pass in front of us and I'm waiting for them to discuss why and the URL is WO three hours ago. Just rewind it. And when they do fire up this press conference, see this is the one I was watching, let's close that. When they do fire up this press conference, the comments are now open, not closed. The URL is now changed. And they're not talking about the issue. Okay, now, even more disturbing than that, at the nine minute an 11 second mark. I'm telling you, this is a false flag. Get it ready to go down. They do not want you to hear this. At the 9-11 mark, listen to the question and answer. I also have a question about that George W. Bush speech, but first just to clarify, are you saying the White House is no longer saying that the Congresswoman talked about the funding? She just talked about legislation in, in general? We're talking, 
I specifically said, and I'll repeat it again, that General Kelly said he was stunned that she made the comments about herself. Uh, and that was the point of what he said. That was uh, what took place here yesterday, and we still stand by those comments. Okay, and then on the, on the George W. Bush speech, uh, he said at one point, bigotry seems emboldened, our politics seem more vulnerable to conspiracy theories and outright fabrication. Does President Trump agree with this assessment? And if so, what does he see as his role in addressing that? Does he agree with the assessment of what? I'm sorry. Uh, bigotry seems emboldened, and our politics seem more vulnerable to conspiracy theories and outright fabrication. Those were former President Bush's words. I, I think if, if anybody is pushing a lot of fabricated things right now, I think most of that would be coming from the news media, and we would certainly agree with that sentiment. Right. David? The what about the bigotry? I'm sorry, yeah. I've called on David. Listen very carefully, because the question's never answered. I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to sign off, and uh, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I, I'm out of words. Let, let's go. I'm out of words. Listen to this question that goes unanswered. The president uh, signed an executive order today. Basically, what it appears to do is it allows the Pentagon to recall retired officers into duty under the 9-11 authority that he has. What's the reason for this executive order? Uh, I, I don't have anything further uh, on that, and I'll have to get back to you, David. Sarah. Sarah. Did you catch that? If you didn't, rewind it.